truth gonna set you free, but first it's gonna piss you off. Dun 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 What is poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dope Ass Panna, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do two feet and braids on short straight hair. And I chose this texture because a lot of you guys have expressed to me that you are having issues with hair like sticking out of your braids. And I feel like on short hair, this is super common and it's even more common on straight hair. I do feel like textured hair is a little easier to blend in, but you guys can still get the same problems. And so I'm going to be giving out some tips on how to prevent that from happening. So the product that I'm using in this video to define my parts and to achieve these braids is the Red Shine and Jam. It was the Magic Fingers collab and I have talked about this product before. I absolutely love it. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite products to braid with but I currently haven't been using it just because the price increased at my local beauty supply and it's not cost effective for me because I'm usually pretty much booked every single week and I use a lot of product when I braid. So. Um, it's now like $13 for the big bottle and just compared to the yellow shine and jam, it's like expensive for me. So I have switched back to the yellow shine and jam, but if you haven't tried out this red one yet, I do highly recommend it because it is freaking bomb. So I go ahead and I coat each side of the part with the product. I parted down the middle and I also put a little bit of the product down the middle and I like to part down the middle just to help me stitch better and also it's a lot easier to just control the hair that is going into the braid. Along the edges I do kind of like a rough draft of what I want the edges to look like um, but that is going to change as you start to pull hair in so like I said it's kind of just like a rough draft just to see where I want to actually pull that hair in if your client wants to have like some type of cute design on her edges. So I definitely feel like the key to getting to really sleek feet and braids is definitely using product. And I feel like it could be done on straight hair without using product, but when you're working on textured hair, if you want them to be sleek, yes, I definitely feel like you need to use product unless maybe you're flat ironing your client's hair, which I've said this on a lot of videos. Um, I don't ever ask my, my clients to um, flat iron their hair. So for this video in particular, um, I am smearing the product along the client's natural hair and that is helping it to blend in. So if you have a problem with hair sticking out or um, just having like a bunch of flyaways, then as you're actually braiding, you can rub the product onto the client's natural hair that is like connected in with the synthetic hair. And even sometimes combing it, you'll see me do this at the bottom, will help their natural hair to blend in. So here you'll kind of see me just comb the client's natural hair and that will help it to blend a little better with the synthetic hair and if that still doesn't work then you can just add a little bit of product to it. Another thing you want to be very aware of if you're having problems with um, just hair sticking out from your braids and this goes for feed and braids or even if you're doing a box braid style you want to make sure that the amount of synthetic hair that you're putting in is proportionate to the amount of the client's natural hair and I feel like when I say it like that it sounds very confusing but basically um, if you have like a lot of the client's natural hair and you're only using a couple pieces of the synthetic hair well it's not going to be able to like it's not going to be able to like cover all of their natural hair. I'm not sure if that if that kind of makes sense, but sometimes you guys send me pictures and your box braid parts will be really big and the braid is like super skinny and their hair sticking out and this is usually a problem why. And the same goes for the ends of your feed and braid. So, you want to make sure that when you get to the bottom of your feed and braid where it basically comes off the nape of the neck, you want to make sure that it could be a possibility that you need to still add in hair. Um, for that braid so you want to make sure it's not like super super skinny where you have a lot of your clients natural hair and barely any synthetic hair so as I get toward the end of the braid you guys will kind of see me comb the hair more and begin to use that product to really blend her natural hair in because once you start getting towards the back of the braid is when you really will start to get those flyaways so you really want to like take your time with this and just make sure you're 
really blending the client's natural hair in with that synthetic hair. I've actually been criticized on a couple of my videos for using edge control to braid or using shine and jam to braid. People seem to think that it's like a new thing where like these new age braiders are using product and it's not necessary. And there are some styles where I feel like it's not necessary, but it's my personal preference. It's my choice to use product. Um, and I feel like there are some styles where it can be done without, but I like to braid with product. I like the way that it looks. I like the shine that it gives to the style. Um, and this is a conditioning gel, so it's not like it will be drying my client's hair out or you know, leaving any type of like crazy buildup. Um, so I just kind of wanted to address that because I feel like people think that um, using product is like such a horrible thing and it's definitely not. I've actually seen um, some of the best braiders in the game <laughs> using products so um you know people like to have their opinion on things and um i'm just addressing it because i wouldn't even consider myself a new age braider i'm damn near 30 i'm 29 and i've been braiding since i was freaking five so yeah sometimes it's frustrating just hearing other people's opinions but um i just wanted to address it because using product is not a necessary thing um just a personal preference for me so yeah, I am talking a lot. So um, after this braid, I'm actually going to have you guys just watch me do the second braid and um, just see those tips that I applied to that braid. Um, one last tip for you guys. When you are getting to the end of the braid, you will see me tucking my client's natural hair underneath the synthetic hair so when you guys kind of see me pulling the hair around that's what I'm doing and that will also help to prevent hair from flying out so you want to make sure that you are keeping the clients natural hair underneath the synthetic hair and you should be trying to do that anyway um, just to make it look a lot cleaner and it is a protective style so you want their hair to be protected within the synthetic hair and that is pretty much all the tips that I have for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do the second braid. I'm going to let you guys watch this and then we will finish off the video.
Alrighty, so here we are, we're at the end. As always, I'm gonna go ahead and dip my client's hair in boiling hot water. And basically what this does is it seals the braids and it takes that stiffness away from them so they're nice and flowing and moving. And you guys can see that all her natural hair is tucked in. I try not to pull too tight on the nape of the neck because with my straight hair clients, um, they have told me that when it's too tight on the nape of the neck, they get scabbed. So I try to leave that part a little bit more loose on the nape of the neck. For my texture clients, I definitely pull all those kitchens in. I'm not playing with y'all. Um, but when I have clients with straight hair, their hair follicles are weaker. So I try to be a little bit looser around the nape of the neck. That is a sensitive area. So yeah, y'all, she is popping. She was feeling herself. She was like, let me throw these earrings in and really make it a look. And um, if you guys aren't following her, make sure you guys follow her. We did a couple prom collabs. She is a bomb makeup artist. As you guys can see, she is like fully beat. And um, I'm so excited that she modeled for me. So yes, I hope you guys really learned something from this video. I'll go ahead and link her IG below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share this video if you love it, and I'll catch you guys next time.